Hello football fans. You're watching new channel football moments, so let's talk about some fresh news. In this video you'll find, Newcastle wants to sign Thomas Muller and Bernd Leno. Barca want to beat Chelsea to Kunde. Kepa praised for focus amid competition. Man United in fight to sign Rice. Eriksen arrived for Brentford training and other football stories. Chelsea defender Antonio Rudiger is demanding £225,000 a week to sign a new contract at Stamford Bridge, reports The Athletic. The likelihood of him agreeing terms on a deal are hindered by the Blues offering him barely half that figure, the outlet adds, with the club willing to go as far as £140,000 a week in negotiations. The Daily Express has some bad news for Chelsea fans. Barcelona, according to the paper, closing in on pre-contract agreements with Blues defenders Cesar Aspilicueta and Andreas Christensen. Both are out of contract at Stamford Bridge this summer, so they could join camp now for free. Chelsea's coaches have hailed mind reader Kepa Ariza Balaga for cementing the Stamford Bridge club's trust. Kepa has hit several low points in his West London tenure, from refusing to be substituted in the 2019 League Cup final to losing his starting berth to Edouard Mendy. But the 27-year-old has refused to go to seed, instead rebuilding his confidence and form to become an increasingly reliable option for the Blues. Chelsea assistant coach Arno Mickles revealed the Blues often marvel at Kepa's ability to second-guess a penalty taker, with the Stamford Bridge hierarchy continually impressed by the ex-Atletico Bilbao star. Manchester United face a fight to sign number one target Declan Rice this summer with the England midfielder waiting to find out the level of interest from boyhood heroes Chelsea, claims the Daily Mail. United are ready to step up interest in 23-year-old Rice with the need to sign a midfield general becoming a top priority. West Ham have slapped a £100 million valuation on Rice and he is likely to be high demand. According to the Mail on Sunday, Rice would ideally love to return to Chelsea having been released by the club at 14. Also Manchester United are set for a welcome windfall after agreeing to sell forgotten midfielder Andreas Pereira for an eight-figure sum, reports the Daily Mirror. The paper reports the Brazilian will join Flamengo, where he is currently on loan, for a fee of around £12 million. Christian Eriksen has arrived at Brentford for the first time since joining the club. The Bees signed the former Tottenham midfielder on the final day of the January transfer window, just seven months after he suffered a cardiac arrest during Denmark's Euro 2020 clash with Finland. Eriksson, who had been training with former club Ajax, was pictured at Brentford's training ground on Monday ahead of the club's game at Manchester City on Wednesday. Barcelona boss Xavi could scupper Thomas Tuchel's plans for Chelsea's summer transfer window as he reportedly lines up a move for Jules Koundé, reports Monday's Daily Star. Koundé was close to a move to Stamford Bridge in August, but Chelsea would not meet his release clause of £68 million. Newcastle United have contacted Bayern Munich over the availability of Thomas Muller, according to Bild. The Magpies are eyeing a potential summer deal for the 32-year-old, whose current deal at Allianz Arena expires in 2023. However, it is understood that a move to Newcastle is unlikely to appeal to Muller as he seeks to remain at the top of the European game. Also, Newcastle remain in the market for goalkeeper and could move for Arsenal star Bernd Leno in the summer, claims Give Me Sport. The Magpies missed out on a loan deal for Manchester United shot stopper Dean Henderson in January, but are ready to rekindle interest in a Germany international that has slipped down the pecking order in North London. That's all for now, if you prefer our video be sure to subscribe, click the like button and write your comments.